Hi, this is Bob Phillips, Managing Principal of Spectrum Management Group, and we're here today to talk about tax on easements. Now, what's the definition of an easement? Um, an easement is basically giving somebody the right to uh, cross your property and uh, have access to it. And there's really two types of easements. There's a permanent easement and temporary easements. So for example, uh, many pipelines have been built across the country and actually there's a lot of activity these days with windmills being uh, placed on farms. So what's essentially happening is the pipeline company and or the power companies that are involved with building the pipelines and, and windmills will go to the landowner and pay them to have the right to have the uh, pipeline and or windmill placed in the property. That's essentially an easement. Now, if I'm selling them a permanent right where they basically have access to the land, um, say, uh, forever, then that's just like selling the land. And that per permanent easement is deemed to be a capital asset and therefore subject to capital gains tax. Now, oftentimes, or maybe all times, when they actually um, need to construct the facility on the land, they need a temporary period of time to do the construction work and you provide temporary easements uh, to have access for the construction. That temporary easement is not considered to be a capital asset. It's deemed to be rental income. So they're both taxed differently. Um, capital gains tax is a maximum rate of uh, 15% as of 2012. Uh, Rental income can be taxed as high as uh, the maximum tax bracket, which is currently 35%. So you want to make sure you understand the distinctions between the two because there are major tax differences in, in, in the brackets. This is Bob Phillips, Managing Principal of Spectrum Management Group. Thank you very much for watching.